Hey friends, welcome to today's video. Today I have a drugstore video for you. Everything I'm gonna be using today is very beauty budget conscious. I went into Ulta the other day and I tried to grab everything from Revlon because I wanted this video to be like a full face of Revlon, but my Ulta was limited in like certain products. They didn't have a lot of eye makeup options for Revlon. So I am sprinkling some other products from NYX and I have a palette from ColourPop in here that's available at Target. And then I have an e.l.f putty bronzer, but for the most part, we're going to be using Revlon cosmetics. I don't have anything on my face except my brows. I left my drugstore brow pencil downstairs and <laughs> I just wanted to throw some brows on. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with foundation and I'm using the Revlon color stay long wear makeup. I got the shade 180, which is, I believe like sand beige or something. I'm going to have it, everything listed and linked for you in the description box. But can you believe that? I don't know if I've ever used this foundation. I know that sounds completely absurd. I'm sure I used this like a decade ago, but I cannot tell you what I think about this foundation. And I know it's a very, very popular drugstore foundation. So I'm excited to try it. I am going to apply it with my VK Beauty 106 brush. And I just did one pump on the back of my hand. I like so far the consistency of it. It feels kind of like not super like thin and watery, but not like a real thick foundation either. I am going to just start in the center of my face and we're just gonna kind of press to get a little coverage here. Today is the Sunday after Thanksgiving. I'm not exactly sure when this video is gonna go up. I have a lot of videos pre-filmed that I need to kind of schedule and figure out. So this might go up next week. It might go up in three weeks, but I'm hosting Thanksgiving at my house today for my family. So on Thursday, we got together with Paul's family. And then today I'm having my family over, my mom, my dad, my stepdad, my sister, and we're gonna have Thanksgiving here. So I'm just getting ready for that. We kind of keep it simple. Everyone brings a dish and then I'm picking up barbecue from Rudy's, which is like a really yummy barbecue place here in Texas. So I'm gonna go do that, just keep it simple. We are in the middle of our Black Friday Cyber Monday sale with BK Beauty. So it has been really busy. Paul has been at the office like every day, all week, even yesterday on Saturday and just you know working full long days. So I didn't want to put it on him to cook the meat today. I just wanted him to relax and I would take care of everything. Okay, ooh, I like this foundation. It looks really natural. I didn't apply a ton. I used one pump and I spread it all over the face, but I think that's all the coverage that I'm gonna get from today. I don't really feel like I want more or need more today. I'm gonna go with concealer and I picked up the Color Stay Skin Awaken Concealer. This is caffeine and vitamin C. I know that I do own this concealer and I know that I've used it. I just picked up a new one because I couldn't remember for sure if my concealer was still in my drawer or how old it was. So I just picked up a brand new one and I picked up the shade 025. And again, I know I've used this because I owned it, but I could not tell you what I think about it. Sometimes I use so much makeup that if it's not a product that stays regular in my rotation, I might like have used it two years ago and loved it or hated it, but I couldn't tell you. I know that's bad. So I'm going to just squeeze a little bit out on the back of my hand. I like that it comes out quickly. Some of these, sometimes you have to like take a long time to really get the product out of the sponge tip, but no, don't squeeze a ton out because I just squeezed way more out that I need. This is what the formula looks like. It looks really nice. Obviously that's way more that I'm gonna use. So I'm just gonna take the sponge tip and we're gonna apply a little bit in the inner corner here a little bit underneath the eye. And I'm gonna go in with um, a BK Beauty concealer brush and we're just gonna blend this in. So the texture of this feels pretty nice and medium. Or for concealer, I should say lightweight. It feels like a medium um, texture for like a foundation, but concealers always lean more pigmented and a little heavier. So for concealer, this actually feels pretty lightweight. I'm also just getting over being sick. I was sick for about six days, which you know, it's never fun. I didn't feel miserable, but it just interfered with <laughs> life, you know? It happened in the middle of our Black Friday sale, so I couldn't really be at the office and expose everyone to my sickness. So I just worked from home that week and, you know, just a lot of like cough, congestion, which makes it difficult to do what I do because I'm filming videos and no one wants to see someone blow and sneeze the whole time, <laughs> blow their nose and sneeze the whole time they're on camera. Okay, that looks so nice. This is way more than I need. I'm kind of bummed that I apply too much of this, but I'm gonna take a little bit more and I'm just gonna build it up right underneath here. What I love about this brush, you guys, is it really does help you avoid from applying too much concealer. It really is like the best of a sponge and a brush combined in one tool. I love that. So I just built a little more coverage. I'm gonna do a little more here. I feel really puffy under my eyes today and I'm not sure why. I think it's because I'm still a little sick maybe and I have a lot of congestion here in my nasal cavity, but 
I feel really puffy in the face and I have been for the last week. Ooh, that looks so good. <gasps> wow, okay, that I like, I really like that. So I do have powder that I'm gonna use. Um, before I go with my powder to set the face, I do wanna kind of finish up with my cream products. So I'm gonna go and warm the face and create some dimension with the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. We are gonna use, we're gonna use the new BK Beauty 109 brush. This is one of my little samples. Anytime you guys see me using these brushes with these labels, they were my like sample brushes. Okay, so I'm just gonna press it into this and kind of load up the product. And then I'm just going to Press it onto the skin. I feel like I need to kind of warm it up with my finger. There we go. Much better. I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. We had a nice one. It was kind of low key. I can't believe that it's almost December and Christmas time. And I can't believe 2022 is almost over. Like I really cannot believe that. I just love this product. This is such a beautiful, beautiful cream bronzer or cream contour. I wish that the packaging was a little larger because you have to use a smaller brush. It's really difficult to get in here with like a larger bronzer brush. And I'm gonna build a little bit of shape to the nose. Next, I'm gonna take the BK Beauty 103 and I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Infallible um, Bronzer. This is a powder. This is a little bit of a lighter shade for me. I love this product, but because it's lighter, I like to layer it over a cream bronzer so that I get that level of color that I want. I keep meaning to pick this up in a darker shade. I should have done this yesterday when I was at Ulta, but I totally forgot. And I'm just using a large powder brush because again, I'm layering it on top of a cream product already. So I don't want to have a heavy application of this. I just want a little bit. Next, we're gonna go in with the Revlon Color Stay Powder. This is the pressed powder. It says it has a 16 hour wear. I got the shade 830 Light Medium. Let's open this guy up. I just love new makeup, it's so fun. I took the girls to Ulta yesterday. Brooklyn is starting to get into like the idea of like having a skincare routine and she's asking for skincare products for Christmas. And so it's kind of fun to take her shopping and kind of let her explore and discover beauty because obviously it's a passion of mine. So I'm gonna go in with this. I'm gonna use the same 103 brush and I'm just gonna lightly press it. I don't know how pigmented or heavy this powder is. Ooh, okay, that instantly smoothed out pores and texture. Instantly gave a much smoother, very matte. When I get to under the eyes, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna use one of the new BK Beauty brushes. This is things over here. Um, this is the little flat, small powder brush. And I'm gonna take a little bit of this and just kind of lightly dust it underneath the eyes. I don't wanna put too much because this powder is pretty heavy. So I want a very light application. Oh, so pretty. Okay, next we're gonna go in and apply cheek color. And I picked up this powder brush from Revlon. This is the shade Apricot or Apricute. I think it, is. it says it's a new shade. I'm gonna go in with the BK Beauty 112, a small angled face brush, pick up a little bit of this. That powder really just smoothed and mattified and blurred all of my texture. Like my skin looks like porcelain. It looks nice and I'm not complaining because I do like it, but I do wanna mention that it completely took like a natural looking skin light finish and made it more matte and more heavy looking. I don't mind it, but I did want to say that because sometimes with one like bit pro or benefit, there's a trade-off. So if you're someone that likes more natural looking skin, you kind of, with this powder, you're going to have to be careful because it's going to give the skin a very like matte kind of flat finish. Ooh, this shade is pretty. This has a little bit of a sheen to it. So it's going to highlight the cheeks, but it's not too strong. It's really not a strong shimmer. So pretty. So for eyes, I did pick up this cream shadow from Revlon. This is the shade Caramel. And I haven't even like opened this yet. So let's check this out and swatch it. I don't have a cream shadow from the drugstore that I really love. So I'm hoping that this one is one that I can recommend. This is what the color looks like. Let me show you what it looks like on my finger. There we go. Ooh, that looks beautiful, super pigmented. The texture of it is really nice and light. Like it doesn't feel like a thicker cream shadow. I'm kind of thinking of the MAC Paint Pots and it feels lighter than that. It's very pigmented. I'm actually gonna use my finger to apply. Oh my gosh, that. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. I love that. That is so beautiful. The color, the texture, everything about this is so beautiful. I love it. Super pigmented, but easy to blend out. Very thin and creamy. It feels more creamy than like the MAC Paint Pots to me. The MAC Paint Pots feel a little drier to me. I love them. I'm not saying that in a bad way, but this definitely feels creamier. Oh my God, that is gorgeous. Are you kidding me? <gasps> Holy moly. 
This is beautiful. I love this. I want to just like bathe in it. Oh my gosh. That is so beautiful. We love this. <laughs> We love this Revlon Color Stay Cream Eyeshadow, the shade 710 Caramel. I'm going to link it, pick it up. It is oh, stunning. Oh my gosh. Okay. Here I was worried that that was the only like Revlon eye product that I could find in my Ulta. So that's why I pulled in this ColourPop palette because I wanted to do a full eye look, but I don't even want to cover this up. I'm going to use a little bit from here, but I'm not covering this up. This is so pretty. I'm going to take my concealer brush that I used and just I didn't add anything to it, but I'm just kind of cleaning up the side. Oh my God, that is so gorgeous. Oh, I love, I love, I love, I love. Okay, next I'm gonna take my Angie A501 brush and I'm just gonna take the edge and just kind of really blend this out so you can't see where it stops. It's such a beautiful color. It's light enough so I can take it pretty high up to the brow. That is so pretty. Okay, next I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna highlight the brow, but I'm actually just gonna use the face powder that I used. I'm gonna take the same little Angie brush. We're gonna pop it right underneath the brow just to give a little soft highlight underneath the brow. Okay, let's go ahead and dive into this palette. This is the truly iconic uh, ColourPop for Target palette. They sent me a bunch of stuff. I'm not sure if like ColourPop is brand new to Target. Has it been in Target for a while or is this like a brand new launch in Target? I'm gonna go in, what do I wanna do? I don't really wanna mess this up. I'm gonna go in with this little shade right here, Mariposa. And I'm gonna put a tiny bit of that in the outer corner of my eye, not much. And I'm gonna take the new BK Beauty 211. I'm obsessed with this eyeshadow brush. It's a tiny little perfect crease brush. I'm just gonna take a little bit and we're gonna pop that right here on the outer corner just to give a little bit of like purpley vibe to this eye. I'm not gonna wear this today, but I have to give this comfy lounge set a shout out. This is from Madewell and it is so comfy. It does match my sweatsuit, even though I'm changing. <laughs> oh, that's so pretty. I was, um, we had dinner for one of my best friends on Friday night um, and I got there early. So I did a little shopping on South Congress and there's a Madewell store there and everything was 50% off. So I picked this up and I picked up a couple of turtleneck sweaters. Like I picked up four of the same sweater in different colors. That's kind of what I do. Okay, that is gorgeous. Oh, this is so pretty. It kind of reminds me of Trax from MAC. Do you guys remember that shade? Do they still have that shade? Just a really pretty purple with a little gold flex to it. Oh my gosh, that is so gorgeous. I love that. So pretty. Okay, this looks like a pretty palette, but I really honestly want to leave the eyes kind of simple and basic. I'm going to go in and line the eyes, and I picked up this two-in-one eyeliner from uh, Revlon. It has a pencil, and then it has a liquid liner on one side, and I got the shade Leather Craft, so not black. Kind of looks like a rich brown. So the liquid side has a little like traditional kind of like tiny skinny brush. Not the hugest fan of these types of liquid liners. I feel like they're definitely um, harder to work with than like a felt tip pen. So I'm going to like, not going to use that. But if you like that style of pen or like eyeliner, this is really rich. It's a really pretty, super rich, dark brown very pigmented. The consistency is a little bit thicker. Now let's go to the eye coal side. That's what we're going to use. All right, let me show you guys what this looks like. Okay. So this is the color of the eye coal. I would say it's a nice rich brown, not super, super dark, but dark enough. So we're going to line the um, upper eyelid with this, and I'm going to kind of make it a little thicker on the outer corner. So it's soft. It's not the softest eye coal pencil, but it does go on smoothly. There's a nice pointed tip to it. I wish it were a little darker. I'm gonna have to go over this with an eyeshadow to kind of get the look that I want. Okay, so this is the new BK Beauty 209 brush. This is what it looks like. It's a tiny little shader brush. And I'm gonna go in with, actually I'm just gonna go in with this black, you guys. I'm just gonna get the color on the tip of it. I don't need a ton of it. And I'm actually gonna press it onto the back of my hand just to blot it. And I'm just gonna kind of run this right over that line. So now we have a thicker, blacker line there. I'm gonna kind of pull it up a little bit. I'm gonna take that same cream shadow and I'm gonna use the same brush. And I'm going to run this on my lower lash line. I wanna keep the lower lash line pretty soft. Oh my God, I cannot say enough great things about this cream shadow. Are you kidding me? It is so beautiful, so beautiful. How am I just discovering this? Okay, pretty. Now now we're gonna go in and build some lash. I'm gonna start by curling my lashes. Okay, I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna go in with my Dior Lash Primer really quickly. You guys, I want mega lashes today and I don't have a drugstore uh, lash primer. 
So I'm gonna go and do this real quick. I do have a drugstore mascara though. I'm using the Revlon So Fierce Mascara Extend Lift and Volume. And it says this new mascara. I don't know how new it is. Sometimes these packaging says new for like two years. I always love trying new mascaras. Let's see what this brush looks like. Ooh, okay. These are the kind of brushes I like. I like these types of brushes. These more like kind of rubbery brushes with the little teeth. There's not a lot of buildup of product on here, which I really like. So let's go in and I'm gonna start at the base of the lash, try and wiggle and get as much product off as I can and then pull up. Okay, so right off the bat, I'm getting some good results here. Lots of length and some volume. So I would definitely say this is a good lengthening and volumizing mascara. I'm trying to build a lot of volume at the base because that liner that I did is a little thicker than I had planned. So I wanna make sure that I have lots of volume at the root of my lashes, just so that looks a little softer. Yeah, I like this mascara. Lots of volume and length, and it doesn't clump. The brushes are doing a really good job of separating the lash. So I picked up two products yesterday at Ulta, and I need to decide which one I wanna use. I picked up the Colorstay Satin Ink by Revlon, and I got the shade uh, Partner in Crime 07. And then I picked up the NYX NYX Lingerie XXL um, in Flaunt It. So let me try these on my hand and make a decision here. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, so the NYX is like a light, a nice light kind of liquid lipstick. Yeah, a matte liquid lipstick. And the color stay, I believe, is the same. So this is the NYX and this is the uh, Revlon. Let's see, I'm kind of thinking, I think I'm gonna do the Revlon. I wanna do a little bit more of a subtle lip. So um, I just have a little bit of lip balm. I'm gonna go and apply it directly on top of that. Very pigmented, feels very comfortable on the lips. Like it feels, it almost feels like a lip oil mixed with a liquid lipstick. Ooh, I like this color. Ah, I love this color. It turned a little bit more pinky on me than it did on my hand. Okay, I'm gonna let that set for a second. I'm gonna give it a few minutes and see how this sets. Okay, so the lipstick has had a few minutes to set. It's definitely setting and kind of feeling more like a liquid lipstick on the lips. I did have a little bit of lip balm on first, so that is kind of changing the experience that I would have than if I put it on a dry lip, but it's definitely setting to like a lip, liquid lipstick set. It feels very comfortable, super comfortable, beautiful, like very pigmented. I love the color. I love it. Okay, so this is the final look. All right, you guys, let's recap really quickly because I found some gems in this little like makeup try on. First and foremost, the product that is obvious a standout favorite is this Color Stay uh, by Revlon Cream Shadow in the shade Caramel. Like not only the formula of this is beautiful, but the color also makes this a favorite. So I'm definitely gonna pick this up in a couple of other colors, but I think I picked a winner in this, love this. Also, the Revlon Complexion products, they all were really impressive. I love the Color Stay Foundation. I found that to give great coverage, had a very natural finish before I set it with powder. I'm excited to wear it throughout the day and test it, but from what I know about this foundation, this is a fan favorite, so I'm excited to have tried that. The concealer really impressed me. And again, I know that I've tried this in the past, <laughs> and I cannot recall what I thought about it, but I really loved it today. So the Color Stay Skin Awakening, and I'm the shade at 025, really impressive, great coverage, lightweight, blended out easily, um, gave a natural matte finish, didn't crease. The Color Stay Powder, I personally loved. Very mattifying, airbrushed, um, pore minimizing, smoothing finish. Not for those that want a more natural finish. This is definitely gonna mattify the skin and make it look more made up. So that's the only disclaimer there, but I personally love this. The eyeliner was a, I wouldn't say it's a disappointment, but definitely not a favorite. There was nothing like spectacular about this liner that really stood out to me. The blush, I really enjoyed the blush. I'll give this a good, you know, two thumbs up. I like the color. I like the uh, finish of it being a little bit of a shimmer, but not too shimmery. And then this Revlon Color Stay, I really, really loved this, the satin ink. And this is the shade 07 Partner in Crime. So overall, really impressed with a lot of products from this video. So I'm gonna link everything that I used down below in the description box. I'll have all the colors as well listed next to it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you try any of these products and you already know you love them or you pick them up in the future and try them, come back and let me know what you think. I always love hearing from you. I think one of the best points of feedback that I get is, oh my gosh, Lisa, 
I tried this because you talked about it and I love it. I, I always love hearing that. It just makes me feel good. I love sharing products that I love. So when you love them too, it feels good. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.